The Toronto Maple Leafs and Raptors both won at home on Monday night. Of course, one of them, their home is temporary and happens to be in Florida, but it showcased another monster game by Canadian Chris Boucher. Lowry, guarded by Burke. Nice. Got to bring in Boucher oh, with a slam dunk. Boucher put up 21 points in the Raptors' win over Dallas. It's his sixth consecutive game, putting in a minimum 15 points off the bench. Yeah, I'm proud of him, you know, everything else he's been able to do. And, um, you know, again, like, I think once this team, like, the story, you know, the history has always been about, you know, once you get out opportunity, if you go and run with it, you know, you're going to have chances. And I think that's what he's doing right now. You know, as much as you like to say at the start of the year, here's how we're going to play, here's who we're going to be, and here's how we're going to do things, it's always an evolving thing. And I think we're playing much differently now than maybe we envisioned at the start of the year. So, so again, there's some tweaking and adjustment to learning for, for even guys that have been here a little bit. Eighth shot of the power play, another chance in front, scores! John Tavares, power play goal, and the Leafs have the icebreaker. The Leafs improved their record to 3-1 and one after beating the Jets inside the Scotiabank Arena. With the team playing in an all-Canadian division, they're going to be facing off against the same teams at least seven times this season, and tensions are already starting to rise. As the season goes along, you know, the more and more teams start to clash, you know, the more uh, bitterness you're going to get. So, um, you know, especially when you're playing, you know, two and three games in a row against the same team, you know, you're bound for sparks. So, um, you know, I think last night we handled ourselves well and, you know, we look forward to going into the game against Edmonton tomorrow night. A year ago today, Blue Jays fans were roaming around the Rogers Center, meeting some of their favorite players, taking in an activities for their winter fest. Because of the pandemic, they've shifted the events online for a virtual winter week that starts February 1st. It will be loaded with Jays events, which includes the chance to have a virtual signing with your favorite player. We've been able to have a virtual experience where fans will have a ticket and they'll be entered into a virtual private room with a player. So when we have autograph sessions, normally it's a group experience, it's a large event, but this one you're gonna have one minute to hang out with that player alone to get your item signed, um, which you can choose, or there's another opportunity for you to choose a screenshot. So you'll get a photo of your um, autograph experience signed by the player. 